I know this is not my normal time to be on. It is evening time and I am definitely a morning person. But we are traveling and I just wanted to hop on here and say hi guys. I wanted to talk about prayer. You guys know who I am. I'm Dr. Sam Price. I'm a licensed naturopathic physician. I'm an expert in natural medicine. Through my Facebook Lives, my concierge medical practice, my number one best-selling books, and my live events, Vital, the Experience, a retreat in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, I help you bridge conventional and alternative medicine to transform your illness into wellness. So today we're going to talk about prayer. It happens to be one of the topics that we're going to discuss um, in Punta Cana at the retreat. Dr. Cree is actually going to go in deep and in depth with you guys about this topic. But I wanted to kind of give you my kind of five little things that I want to talk about about prayer, okay? So first of all, I wanted to talk about what is prayer? Because I was talking about the difference between mindfulness and prayer with somebody today. And first I want to give you number one, let's type this, what is prayer, okay? Number one is what is prayer? Prayer really is, in a definition, is the request for help or an expression of thanksgiving or gratitude to God, okay? That is what prayer is. Hey, Dr. Donna, I'm just talking about prayer. It's one of the topics, as you know, because Dr. Donna is one of the speakers rocking the stage at the retreat with me. Um, I'm talking about prayer. So, number one, I want people to know what prayer is. Prayer is the request for help or an expression of thanksgiving to God, okay? Number two, I wanted to talk about the difference between mindfulness, which is a big thing that we're talking about now, which actually Dr. Donna's going to rock the stage about. She's going to do mindfulness for us. So the difference between mindfulness and prayer is that mindfulness is a focus or a being aware of a situation, a person and energy, but it's not necessarily um, a religious focus. It does not have to be a religious focus. When we're talking about meditation, it does not have to be religious at all, okay? So atheists or agnostics also do mindfulness or meditation. Prayer and mindfulness are two separate things. You can interweave them. I do mindfulness and I'm a Christian. Um, I know um, other faiths, um, Buddha, Buddhism, Muslim, um, uh, I'm thinking of one, Baha'i, all incorporate mindfulness and prayer. But mindfulness does not have does not have to have a component of religion attached to it. It is being aware of something and focusing on something. Okay, so when we're talking about affirmations, intentions meditation, those are the things when I'm thinking of mindfulness, okay? Prayer is request for help um, or a expression of thanksgiving specifically to God, okay? So number three is I wanted to talk about a type of prayer, and a type of prayer is intercessory prayer. Hi, whoever just joined, I don't know who it is. You got to type it in the comments so that I can see you. So number three is a type of prayer, which is called intercessory prayer. I don't know if everybody's aware of this. I think we're all aware of it. We just don't know the term intercessory prayer. Intercessory prayer is where someone prays for you or intercedes on your behalf. So I know a lot of people who call me and ask for prayer, or they will put on Facebook, hey, please um, pray for me. I'm having surgery. That is an intercession. It's where someone is praying on your behalf or interceding for you. That doesn't mean that you're not praying too, but then there's also people who have never prayed before or are, are just not comfortable with that. So there's intercessory prayer, all right? So that's an interceding on your behalf. Number four is I wanted to tell you guys that prayer isn't just like this woo-woo thing. There's research studies behind prayer, okay? So when we're talking about that intercessory prayer that I was just talking about, I actually did a research project in medical school on intercessory prayer. There are studies, and I'll drop the links um, when I'm done with this Facebook Live for you guys. 
but there are studies specifically about decreasing mortality when you're using prayer, either intercessory or you praying yourself. There are studies about increased success in IVF, um, which is in vitro fertilization. I'm a testimony. Well, Deuce is a testimony um, to that. Sean and I both prayed um, fervently for Deuce, Deuce to be able to be here, um, and we did IVF. Um, an increase in immune function. Um, <clears throat> we have studies on that as well. We have studies on decreased hospital stay and increased um, recovery times. I mean, decreased recovery times. Um, specifically, we have studies on prayer in those studies. So I will drop the links as soon as I am done. And number five, I wanted to drop you guys my way of praying. Now, this is in my book, um, The Seven Secrets, um, uh, The Seven Naturopathic Secrets to um, Transform Your Health. Hey, Lewis, nice to join. And I'm glad you're joining. I'm talking about prayer today. Um, so we're on number five, and I wanted to tell you guys how I pray. Now, my way of praying is not the right way of praying. Um, you can pray however you want to pray. You say a blessing. You're blessing the food, right? You say, my son says his prayers at night, and he thanks God um, for, for letting him rest, and he thanks everybody for being in his life, okay? Prayer is exactly what you want it to be. Um, it is very individual, but I'll share to you my method of praying, um, if you don't mind. So there's an acronym, P-R-A-Y. And I want to think I got this from K. Arthur. There's a book that says, Teach Me How to Pray in 28 Days. And I think it was a Bible study that I did. But I've adapted this in my morning and my evening prayers. So I pray in the morning um, before my feet touch the floor, before I get out of bed. That's the first thing I do. And then when I get in bed, before I go to sleep, it's the last thing that I do. Okay, so rituals are important, and we'll talk about that later. But the pray, so P R A and Y. So the P stands for praise him. So you're giving God praise. And then the R is for repent. So you're asking for forgiveness. Um, A is for appreciation. So you're thanking God for the things that he's giving you or the things that are, you're giving gratitude. Okay. And then the why is for yearning. So what are you asking for? Right. So remember, I said that prayer is a request for help and it's an expression of thanks. So in the P-R-A-Y, we're doing two of those. Right. So let me go over the five that we talked about tonight. Number one, what is the definition of prayer? Prayer is a request for help or an expression of thanks to God specifically. Um, number two is the difference between mindfulness and prayer. Mindfulness is a focus or a being aware of a situation, a person, an energy. It's a focus and being aware. Does not necessarily have to be religious, even though they can intertwine. Um, and number three is I wanted to talk about a form of prayer, which is intercessory prayer, which is interceding on one's behalf. If you don't feel comfortable with praying, you can ask someone to pray for you. If you're comfortable um, praying, then intercede on someone's behalf, okay? And then number four was that there are studies that are proven that prayer works specifically. They, it works medically. So it decreases mortality. It increases the success specifically for IVF. It increases immune function and it decreases hospital stay. So I'll drop those links as soon as I'm done. And then I wanted to share number five, my way of praying, which comes from, I believe I got it from K. Arthur, 28 days. Um, Lord, teach me how to pray in 28 days by K. Arthur. It's a Bible study. Um, it's the acronym P-R-A-Y. So P is for praise him. You give God the glory, all right? Um, R is for repenting. So you're asking for forgiveness for your sins or a is um, for appreciation, so you're giving gratitude and you're saying thanks. And your Y is for your yearning, is what you're requesting of God, okay? So I hope that this has been helpful. It's one of many topics that we're going to be talking about um, further in depth. Uh, Dr. Cree is actually going to take this topic for us and teach us about it and the clinical benefits of why you should be using prayer in um, your life. 
to also help transform your health. It happens to be a superpower. We're talking about superpowers at the retreat. She's going to rock the stage and tell us about that. I have put the link above and I'll put the link in the comments. You guys, I would love to see you guys in Punta Cana. We have so many wonderful speakers and we have so many awesome topics. I would hate for you to miss it. So I hope you guys join us. I'll put the link there. You guys know who I am. I'm Dr. Stan Price. I'm a licensed naturopathic physician. I'm an expert in natural medicine. Through my Facebook Lives, my number one best-selling book, my concierge medical practice, my live events, Idol, The Experience, a two-day wellness retreat in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. I help you bridge conventional and alternative medicine to transform your illness into wellness. Hope to see you guys soon. Talk to you soon. Bye.